There he is. Right there. Small to swim bait is. Man. Yeah. What in the world? So we have just made it to the fishing section. You got it? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh man. Today is going to be a hot day already. It's already early in the morning. It's just going to be hot. Oh, oh my gosh. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. I have an awesome video idea today that I'm very proud to present. And I haven't even done a challenge like this before, so I think it's going to be really, really cool. It's going to be a micro slash tiny swim bait fishing challenge. So we're going to go find the smallest one we can. I'm actually outside of Walmart. Let me... Let me see if I can show you. Yep, Walmart, right, right there. We're about to go in right now. We're gonna be looking at their tiniest swim baits that they actually have, and then we're gonna be taking it to the pond and seeing how many fish we can catch on the tiny swim bait. And to make this a bigger challenge, what we're gonna be doing is actually, instead of throwing this on a spinning rod, we're gonna throw it on a bait caster. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you my bait caster later. I wasn't really gonna show you. There's just some lady in the distance that was just like, just just staring just straight just looking really hard and it kind of freaked me out so I'm like eh, i don't know what to do but guys we're about to go into walmart right now we're gonna go get the swim base let's get this video started well i think i need my wallet i think that'd be really good so we have just made it to the fishing section and they have exactly what I want. They have all these power baits and then these storm ones right here. And they have a bunch of like micro, like small ones. So this is what we're probably going to be going with today. I actually used this in a recent challenge, Crazy Dad vs. Son. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll pop it up on the screen up here. And uh, I'll also link it below. But I actually caught a lot of fish on this bait. I, can, I don't know if you can tell how small this swim bait really is compared to my thumb. Like that thing is tiny. So we're going to be going with this one. This is just the Berkeley Power Bait. Little swim bait right here. It's a little natural color. And that baby is tiny now. They also got these as well. I don't know if I'm going to... Let's let's go with it. We're just going to get these as well. We're going to go with both of these. Super small. I'd say these little storm ones right here. These little baby crappies. I actually used this in the big versus or the cheap versus expensive swim bait fishing challenge. You guys loved it. So we're going to go with the tinier ones today. We're going to go give these three baits a try. I was just looking down this aisle and they do not have the lemon peppers. I was going to pick me up some lemon peppers because I'm almost out of stock. That is not lemon pepper. Just so you know, that is not. That is not lemon pepper. They do not have them at all. They don't have one bait in the lemon pepper. And I'm honestly kind of upset about that. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually in Savannah right now. So this is my local Walmart here in Pooler. They don't even sell the lemon pepper. If you guys don't know what lemon peppers are, it's the juiciest bait on the planet. I mean, hashtag juicy lemon pepper below. It's the juiciest bait on the planet. And uh, it catches some fish. I'm going to be filming a video here soon on a lemon pepper fishing challenge. If you guys want to see that, be sure to pepper that thumbs up button. Because that video is going to be sweet. Alright, grab my baits. Right here. We're getting out of here. We're going to go check out. And we're going to go catch some fish. All right, we got the goods. We are ready to go smack some bass. So I wanna show you guys very quick actually what I got at Walmart. So I picked up three different micro slash tiny swim baits that we can use in this video. I'm pretty much gonna try to catch fish on all of these. And the first one that I picked up was these little these little tiny storm ones right here. These are baby, baby, baby swim baits. I mean, as you can tell to my thumb, I mean, these things are tiny, tiny, tiny. And then we have the little storm crappies, which I used in a previous video, the $1 versus like the $100, $200 swim bait challenge. If you guys want to check that one out, I'll link it up top as well. And then we had these little power bait ones, and these things look so sweet. It's just a little old natural color right there. I actually caught fish on these recently in mean, one of my challenges. I think first, I'm going to start off with, I'm thinking this one right here, the power bait. So I'm gonna start off with the power bait and then I'll probably end up switching over to the storm crappie and then eventually over to this other little storm one. This is how small the swim bait is compared to my finger. This, <laughs> this thing is so tiny. Oh man, this is gonna be very, very neat. I mean, that thing is the small, one of the smallest baits I've definitely ever thrown. As you guys can tell right there, I actually have a bait caster. Instead of making this challenge super, super basic and me throwing it on a spinning rod, I'm gonna actually make it a lot harder on myself and throw that thing on a bait caster. One, I only have a bait caster with me. And two, it's just gonna be, it's gonna kinda top off the challenge because I can tell you one thing, those baits are super, super, super light. So it's gonna be very interesting throwing those around on a bait caster because it's gonna be really hard, first of all. It's gonna make it more of a challenge. By the way, if you guys wanna see some more micro slash tiny lure fishing challenges, be sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below.
Oh man, this is looking super juicy with my baby micro swim bait. I don't know how I'm gonna throw this. This is going to be. Ah. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Holy smoke. That was the second cast. Fish didn't look bad either. He's engulfed that thing. Never got him pinned. That was insane. Oh, he just hammered me. Oh, he just came off. Already had two bites and he already destroyed the swim bait. Look at that. Absolutely destroyed this thing. Oh, he hit it. Oh my God, I got him. First fish on the micro swim bait. Oh man. Oh, there we go, baby. First fish on the micro swim bait. Oh, that is freaking sweet. Look at him eat that thing right there. Man, first fish of the day. That's the third bite already. They are going to destroy the swim bait, guys. It's going to be an awesome video. So be sure to hang on this thing. Let's get him back in the water. All right, everyone. First fish of the day right there. Just a beautiful one. Here he goes. Guys, that was freaking sweet. First fish on the micro swim bait. This is awesome because these challenges, it's like you never know what to really expect. I did not expect to get three bites like right off the bat on that like, like <laughs> tiny, tiny swim bait. I think we're gonna switch up to this baby crappie right here. One thing is I could cast this a lot better and I think they're gonna munch on it too. Since we already caught a fish, we're, I'm sure we're gonna go back to that one, but I have to retie anyways. So let's try this one out. Let's see if we can get some bites on this one. Here's this baby little crappie. There's actually some crappie in this pond. So heck, we're gonna see what this can do. Oh man, I can cast this thing so much better. Oh, he followed it back right there. That was the first thing I've seen on this swim bait so far. I've, I've been casting the crap out of this and I haven't had any bites. Oh man, he just hammered me. I got him. Oh, <laughs> took him a second to eat that thing. Baby guy, he choked that thing though annihilated that baby little crappie right there. All right, everyone, second fish of the day. This is on the little baby crappie. Oh man, we're gonna have to, what in the world? What in the world was that? <laughs> These fish are hyper. Oh man, I got another one. Next cast. Choke that thing as well. Golly, he choked that thing. Man, that's third fish of the day right there. Little baby guy, but on the crappie, that's two casts in a row. I wasn't getting bites at all, and then I started, you know, way out here, out in the middle, instead of throwing up on the bank. Third fish of the day on the micro swim baits. There he goes. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe I just got this on camera. His head is stuck in, like, this little... Hold on, buddy. I got you. His head just got stuck in this little cleat thing. Oh my God. You see this right here? He just ran right into it and his head got jabbed in between it. I don't know what is going on right now. So instead of like straight reeling this bait, like you guys probably think I'm doing or popping my rod while I'm reeling it, I'm literally just kind of stroking my rod up. Like kind of like ripping the bait off the bottom. Just kind of ripping the bait, ripping the bait. Very, very slow though. And he just hit it. They just nail it on the fall. It's not that deep out there, but when you rip that bait up, what's happening is that tail's fluttering. When you're letting it fall, it just flutters right down and they're just hitting it right on that fall. That's exactly what that one did. He caught me by surprise. I got lifted back up. He's already on there. I'm gonna try this one out. The little curl tail one is super light as well as 1 16th ounce. I mean, you guys can only imagine how light this is to throw on a bait caster. But I can still cast it. He's peppering that thing. He almost took off of it. Got him. You won't believe how I was working this thing. You won't believe how I was working this thing. Well, that is a fish right there on every micro swim bait I bought. There we go, fish number four. So as you guys can tell, this is that 1 16th sounds little curly tail swim bait right here. Never seen anything like it. So what I'm doing is pretty much, I can't really get it out there when you reel it. The bait just pretty much, like it doesn't have enough weight to even do anything with it. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing it out there. Just like that. I'm letting it sink all the way to the bottom, just like a worm. All right, and it, just like that. Boom, fish number five, baby. Little tiny guy, but I'm figuring out ways to catch these fish right now. As I was telling you guys, you cast it out there, boom, hits the water, 
let that bait sink to the bottom, which his tail's already fluttering. And then you're just gonna pop it just like a little jig or a little worm, just pop that thing right off the bottom. There's not much you can really do with this bait knowing that it's so light. I can't even reel it because it's just twisting up on itself. I cannot believe I'm catching them like this. That is blowing my mind. <laughs> what in the world? Who would ever think to work this little swim bait like a worm? I mean, come on, seriously. Like, this is just honestly unreal. I'm sitting there working this thing like a worm. I, I like have three different swim baits that are super, super tiny. I'm figuring out different ways to work each of them. It's just insane. That's actually two fish in a row that have eaten it on the fall because that bait's just falling down and fluttering its tail and they just already have it. Oh my gosh, all right. He's got it. No, he don't. Oh my gosh, my line's hopping. He's got it. That's a better one. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> they're small, but I mean, they're fun to catch. Like, I'm not going to lie. They're actually fun to catch. Plus, I'm catching them on a swim bait that I'm throwing and working like a worm. Like, that's just something I do not do every day. This is actually kind of fun. I mean, look how small they are, but they are absolutely fat. But there's hitting that thing on the fall. I'm just hopping out on the bottom like a little jig head. See you, buddy. These fish cannot resist this little profile right here. I mean, it just matches the bait so well. Oh my gosh, I have another one. It's, it's every cast on the bottom like that. I've literally figured out a way to just, oh my gosh. This is just unreal. Right there, fish number seven, I think it is. It's like every cast on this little guy. There he is. Oh, he came off. So let me show you what I'm working with pretty much. So we still have this crappie right here. We have three of these, you know, those didn't get messed up. The little pack of the storms, which I've been using, two of them are just destroyed, as you guys can tell right there. Those are not gonna be, uh, not gonna be working anymore. And then I have, how many are in a pack? Five are in a pack. I have four of these left. So I still need to give those a try and actually keep throwing that one, but I'm gonna continue to throw this little curly tail one because I am just whacking them. I'm just working it like a worm on the bottom. Pretty much dead sticking it almost. I'm barely popping my rod every once in a while and they're just destroying it. I just do not get it. It's just blowing my mind, but it really matches the bait, so it's working. We're gonna go back over here. I'm gonna throw my bait in there and let you guys watch my line because they are just hammering this thing. First cast. I just tied a new one on because that last one was getting messed up. First cast in there, right when I hit the bottom. Oh man. Oh, he destroyed it too. I'm gonna push this thing back on here and give it one more cast. Oh man. There he is, right there. Right there, baby. There we go on my last little swim bait. Still working this thing just like a little worm, I'm telling you, they just can't stand it. Am I really that stupid? I just straight up threw my rod and reel in the water <laughs> about to release this fish. What in the world? All right. I don't even know what number this fish is. I think it's like, what, 10? See you, buddy. So, everyone, this is actually the last bait I, that I have. Or I have two of these left. And uh, this just is the little baby crappie, the micro crappie. I took the treble hook off just because I kept getting a lot of stuff on it. But it still has the top hook. And just throwing it out there. We're going to see if we can get a few. There he is. Oh, dang, that was a decent one right there. Holy crap, that was like a two and a half pounder. That was the best one today. I bet you if I would have had that treble hook on, he would have stayed pinned 100%, I promise you. There he is. Oh man, that's a better one right there. And he spits it. All I can tell you is this thing has caused me to lose like four fish already. Five, I think, maybe. Just because of that treble hook's off of it. All right, we are back with the treble hook on it. Got one. Walking and casting. Walking and casting, baby. And then he actually doesn't even get the treble. Look at that. <laughs> I got him right in the side of the mouth on the baby little crappie. Oh my gosh, I got another one. Same thing, walking and casting. Treble hook got him that time. You can tell that top hook never even had him. This is the next cast. There we go, baby. 
Oh man, that's the best one yet. There we go, baby. Ain't nothing bad. That is a fat one right there. That is a fat fish. It's actually really heavy for what he is. On the old crappie right there, that is a lot better fish. It's really thick and healthy out here. On that little baby crappie, that is awesome. I think that's the best one of today, I, I don't know. But man, he ate that thing. There he is. Woo, another one on the crappie, man. This thing is just killing it right now. That was a very close one, but he's good. He's back in the water. There he is. Choke this thing too. I think this is the last fish gonna conclude this video. Well, everyone, that is going to conclude this video, but do not leave yet because I want to know if you guys would like to see some more micro fishing challenges or tiny lure fishing challenges or big versus small fishing challenges. Let me know in the comment section below. I want to know what you guys want to see next. The little crappie lure got him, you know, covering water with that thing. The little miniature power bait one was good for throwing around. I really didn't catch too many on that one. And then the other one with the weird curly tail, I was working it like a worm on the bottom and that was the only way I could catch them on it because if you reeled it, it just would not work like it would just spin like this but it still ended up catching them it was just crazy we caught fish on every single bait almost used every one i bought actually and they're only a dollar a pop but i just had such a great time and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well but thank you all so much for watching be sure to smash that subscribe button pepper that thing up lemon pepper it below and also be sure to turn on post notifications by clicking that little bell and turning this on thank you guys so much for the support i love you guys so much and i'll catch you all in the next video I got sky like the brother man, uh I crack cars getting hella bands, uh I got a bar from the motherland, uh I got shooters with dance, uh I get it, get it up anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money up uh, every day, uh